Welcome to a Digital Lifestyle at Com video show. Um, on this video, we're going to be looking at some of the Media Center features and Media Center centric features of Windows 7. Uh, this is not meant to be a review or a complete uh, overview feature, uh, feature, but it's just some of the things that I've seen uh, while I've been playing around with it over the last couple of weeks, and this is running with the, the beta. I've got two machines set up one, uh, the HP Touch Mart, which I can show you the Media Center using the Touch UI, and uh, this is the main Media Center server. And this uh, Samsung NC10 netbook is running Windows 7 and I've set up home group so we can share content between the two. So that's the first thing that I, I wanted to, to look at on the video. A home group is a new feature in Windows 7 where content can be shared between machines. It's not just about Media Center, it can share, you can share music, TV, uh, videos, pictures, uh, documents. And when you uh, build a new media, uh, when you build a new PC, uh, as it's going through the install, it says, do you want to join your home group? And if it's the first time that uh, you've used home group and it's not, it doesn't detect any other PCs on the network when in home group, it'll say, hey, okay, here's a key to create a home group. And then you put that key in on your other machines um, when it detects the home group or you can do it for the network settings. And then that joins the, them up with like a, almost like a domain so that... Uh, this machine can see, see the content shared on there, and that machine can see the content shared on there, and, and so on around the network. So it's not, so it really replaces the need to go with map drives and shared folders and all that kind of uh, networking type stuff that you've got to do sometimes to get things working. And of course, um, the one thing that it does that you couldn't even do with that in the networking side was if you're sh got here, this is recording content, then it will show up on here automatically without having to close the media center and refresh it or whatever the shared view so um, that's a nice feature and it's going to make things a lot a lot easier for people with multiple machines which a lot of people are getting netbooks now and, and laptops as well I'll have a look at that also probably going to have a quick look at play 2 as well which we mentioned before on the blog and on the, on the podcast uh, which is the DLNA feature where you can play from one machine to another via another and so on and uh, like I said we'll have a quick look at the touch UI as well which I've covered covered in the past. So the first thing we'll do, I'll move the camera around and we'll have a quick look at uh, the home groups and how we can share content between machines. Right, okay, so I've got here my uh, main media centre machine and my netbook running on a wireless network. So I've joined the home group already, so on the netbook I'm going to go into recorded TV and here uh, you can see two recordings and this one uh, came with it and this one was actually pulled from the other machine and I'll show you how we do that in a moment. So this is no TV tuner and uh, let's say I wanted to uh, watch this show. This is a locally stored show. I can go into, uh, let's go on to restart. And there we go. So I've got recorded TV working on there. That was a show recorded on here pulled across, and I'll show you that in a minute. But if I go to shared on there, we can now see these pivots here. So we've got recorded TV, which is things on this machine. Clark, which is uh, named after Jim Clark, which is this machine. Senna, 7B, Windows 7 Beta, Senna, which is a machine down there. And then all content is... Uh, a view with all that content in. So let's go to all content. So now what we're seeing is some shows uh, that are sh from recorded on this machine on here, and uh, we'll also see some others um, from the from the other machine down there. So this is from uh, this is actually Clark machine, which is this one. So here's a show. I go into, it's only a quick recording of it, go to watch. Okay, so this now it's been played on this uh, machine, but over the wireless it's taken the content from the touch mark. So you can see this is really wireless, this is on the LAN. Um, not interesting to note as well how well it plays back on a little netbook. Uh, great for watching. Media Center content when you're on the go. Now let's say I like this and I want to watch this um, when I'm traveling, so I won't have my Media Center machine connected. So 
So I can do uh, make a copy and that's going to do now is going to copy that content from this machine using the wireless over to that machine. And that's exactly what I did with um, with the other show that was on there. And uh, as you could see when I was watching the, the screen white program, that worked fine. So that's how Home Group works sharing that way. If, if you go over onto this machine, so this is my main machine. If I go to shared, I can go onto the Fangio, which is that machine. And there you'll see the show that um, is actually originated on here, it's copied over and you can stream it back and I can even copy it back as well. So it does the full movement all from the Media Center, Media Center UI. I can also go into another test machine and there's only a couple of files on that one and again I can play that file. So that's uh, content stored on the machines. If I go to all content, this is all the different machines content uh, stored in one so I don't think we'll see a great deal on here. Now I've noticed uh, one bug, you may wonder where some of these recordings are gone so let's say the IT crowd there is on this machine but it didn't show up on there and that's actually a recording was done from the Vista partition and it's not showing up in the home group uh, so I think that looks like a, like a bug really so I need to get logging that one so that's home group with the um, we can literally leave that it's going to carry on copying in the background so you see it's still copying so that's home group for for video or for TV if we go to music go to the music library ok we've got a couple of podcasts on there but we can do the same thing with this one we go up to the pivot Go to shared. Uh, we can see a few more views here. Um, we've got the music library, we've got the machines. It looks like it's also showing up um, shared libraries as you would see in Windows Media Player. So the Lewis box, named after Lewis Hamilton, is a Windows Home server. And I have got some content there, not a huge amount. Uh, more of it was on this machine. So we can actually play from that and that's not even joining the home group, that's using the Windows Media Connect sharing and uh, you'll see that I can um, that's also on that and there's a, a netbook that's a Windows Media Player it's actually an XP device and anything else that I, that I put on there. So I don't think there's any content on that one to show Let's uh, let's have a look at some music on Clark. I'm not sure I've added any music to that yet, so I'll have to have a look at that. So you can see the idea behind this is I can go onto um, any of the machines and pull content down one central place and have it all run on there. Oh, there we go, some of the music started to show up. So this is stuff coming from uh, the Senna box, which is the media center machine down there. And I can play that. She's thinking about it. There we go. So we've got that playing. And also you'll notice that one of the new features of this visual playback. We'll have a look at that when we're on this machine. And again we could we could do that with um, pictures as well and video. So here I'm uh, pulling pictures. These are just a sample pictures off the other Windows 7 machine. Um, but as you've seen through the shared on here let's see if I can see some on this Windows Home Server Box. I don't think I've actually authorised this machine uh, from Windows uh, Media Connect. But what's interesting is it's showing um, machines other than Windows 7 machines when it comes to. Let's have a look what's on this one. 
I don't think I've shared anything on that one either. Um, I need to authorise that. So you've got your home server, you've got your, all your Windows 7 machines, your Vista machines could all show, so show up with a picture, the pictures as well.